Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for April the 27th. Today in 1536, things started heading downhill very quickly for Anne Boleyn. Archbishop Cranmer and other clergy and nobles were summoned to London for a parliament to be held in June for what most historians believe was going to be the question of Henry putting aside Anne Boleyn. Now, of course, Anne already would have been dead by that point, but it just shows that no one really likely knew at this point what was going to happen with Anne, just that she needed to go. So they were laying the groundwork for that. Also on this day, John Stokesley, the Bishop of London, was consulted for advice regarding whether the king could end his marriage to Anne Boleyn. Eustace Chapuis, the imperial ambassador, wrote to Charles V, quote, The brother of Lord Montague told me yesterday at dinner that the day before the Bishop of London had been asked if the king could abandon the said concubine, and he would not give any opinion to anyone but the king himself, and before doing so he would like to know the king's own inclination, meaning to intimate that the king might leave the said concubine, but what, knowing his fickleness, he would not put himself in danger. The said bishop was the principal cause and instrument of the first divorce, of which he heartily repents and would still more gladly promote this, the said concubine and all her race are such abominable losers. London, 29th of April, 1536. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.